In this video, we look at how to analyze a beta. Beta is a measure of volatility in the sense uncertainty and it's a measure of systematic risk or also called market risk. So beta is a measure of volatility that is in the broader sense so systematic risk or a market risk and measured using equation beta equals to summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by summation of x minus x bar in excel that is microsoft excel we calculate beta using a simple equation slope so when you use equation slope it asks you to give inputs of two variables that is x independent variable and y dependent variable so now when, when we are calculating a beta we need to have a two variables x and y x is independent variable and when you're calculating a stock beta, your x is always the index values. Index values. That is, so suppose you are taking a stock markets, then then your index values of NSC 50 or BSC 30 or it may be NASDAQ or any measure anything of a index or sensex values are considered as independent variable and Y is your dependent variable that is your stock for which you are calculating the beta so the beta values and how is that we are going to interpret the beta is beta is 1 if we calculated stocks beta is 1 then we can say that the stock is moving along with market that is index and if beta of your stock is less than 1 if beta is stock is less than 1 then the stock is moving slower than the market in the sense if a beta of a stock is 0.80 we can say that the stock is moving 20% slower than market. And what happens when it this mean if market increases by 10% that is if X market increases by 10% the stock will increase only by 8%. Now, if beta of a stock is greater than 1. In the sense, stock 
moves faster than the market so if a stock has got a beta of 1.5 beta equals to 1.5 this means it is 50 percent faster than market so what happens mean if a market increases that is x increases by 10 percent if x increases by 10 percent then the stock increases by 15 percent y will increase by 15 percent so in a bull trend if your market is in a bull trend bull trend is where prices of stocks are increasing in such situations it is better to buy high beta stocks so buy high beta stocks if market is in bearish trend bearish trend is where prices of stocks are declining in such situations invest in low beta stocks so high beta stocks are always associated with high returns and higher risk and low beta stocks are associated with low returns and lower risk so if you are a risk averse and you want to be safe on your investment then go for low beta stocks and if you are a, if you want to seek a risk then go for a high beta stocks